Hello everyone and welcome to another Looker Studio tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to customize combo charts in Looker Studio. So I get this question very often. For example, let's say we're going to click on insert, we're going to add a combo chart. How can I customize this combo chart? Why, for example, there is no secondary axis? How I'm going to define the secondary axis? Maybe the secondary axis is not, let's say, uh, rendering properly. How can we go about doing that? So a combo chart is a chart with two different metrics. Very often, metrics are measured on a different scale. So the very first thing that we're going to do is after adding this combo chart, we're going to go on the right hand side and we're going to define the dimension and the metrics. So the dimension, let's change it as an example. So now we are looking at channels. Let's actually make it country, right? So I'm going to change the dimension and the dimension is going to be what basically I'm going to look into in my report. So now we are looking at country performance. And let's say we want to see country performance based on sessions. And perhaps let's select, for example, a metric that is going to, to render as a ratio. So maybe let's say purchase to view rate, or maybe what we can do is we can actually have the bounce rate here. So let's actually create the bounce rate formula. So we have sessions and then we are going to have our bounce rate. So let me type the formula of our bounce rate. And that's the secondary method. So the first thing that we're going to do, actually I'm going to change the dimension back to channel just for everyone to be more, let's say, visual prominent, is we are going to go and click on the second column that says style. So we have two columns on the right hand side, right? So I'm going to click on my report. The first one is setup that we define the dimension and the metrics. The second one is called style. And this is how we can customize our combo chart. So sessions, what I want to have here is I want to have the metric sessions as a bar chart. So where it says here series number one on the top, I'm going to select bars. So now here you can see that the metric that is called sessions is a bar chart. And maybe what I can do also is I can click on show data labels. So now we also have the number of sessions by channel. The second metric now, which is the bounce rate, is not visible now. Why it is not visible? Because this metric is a percentage. And the number of sessions, which is the first metric, is in the thousands. So automatically, this means that this metric is actually too small to show in this graph as it is now. So we need to add a secondary axis. So I'm going to to scroll down a little bit here where it says series number two, which is my bounce rate. I'm going to say that I want this to be a line. And then I'm going to say that I want this to be the right axis. And now you can see that we have immediately this line that represents the bounce rate. And I can also click on show data labels here and I can see the bounce rate by country. And that's how you can actually customize the combo chart. Now, obviously I can change the colors of the line or also the bar charts, right? So I'm going to go to series one, which is my sessions, and I can change this to, let's say, I'll call this pink or maybe purple. And let's change, for example, the color of my bounce rate to blue. So now we customized also the color of the bar chart and also the lines. And personally, I really hate the green lights, the grid lines, sorry. So I'm not really in favor of having them there. So I'm just going to scroll the way down and where it says grid, I'm going to say that I don't want any grid. I want the grid to be transparent. And that's our combo chart here. Now, you can also customize other things. For example, you have a legend, right? Sessions and bounce rate. You can change the color of your legend for example, to pink. Doesn't make any sense, but just as an option, right? You can change the fonts, for example, instead of Roboto for it, let's say we can choose this fonts. I don't know what it is, but it looks quite artistic or quick sound, for example. So you can change the, the font of the legend or the font of anything else that we have in our, uh, in our combo chart, right? 
that's the basic customization that will allow you to actually visualize any chart nicely. Now, in a scenario, for example, let's say we have a, a, a combo chart here and we want to look into countries. And obviously we have a lot of countries, hundreds of them. And in this case, basically, we see that because we have hundreds, hundreds of uh, countries, this chart looks very ugly. So what I normally do in this case, basically, is I add a filter. So I scroll down under the setup column and I add a filter. And I say, for example, here that I want to showcase in this combo chart only countries that have, for example, over, um, let's say, 10,000 sessions. Over 10,000 sessions. So this is how I'm going to name my filter here. And I'm going to say that I want to include only basically entries where the number of sessions is greater than 10,000. And I'm going to say, and now we can see that we have only one, two, three, four, five countries, United States, Canada, India, China, and Japan, and everything looks quite nice. Now there is one minor detail. Some of you will say, you know what, bounce rate is actually a percentage. So we can make it also a percentage. We can actually click here on the bounce rate formula and we can change the type here from, we can go to numeric and we can say that this is percent. And then we're going to click on apply and that's it. That's how we can customize a combo chart. So what you have to remember, a couple of things. First of all, you are going to add the combo chart. From the right hand side, you are going to define the dimension and the metrics that you want to see. Then from style, if you have, let's say, two metrics here, series number one represents the first metric, which in our case here is sessions, and series number two represents the second metric. If these metrics, they are counted on a different scale, the same way here we have sessions and bounce rate, one is by the thousands, the other one is a percentage, then series number two has to be measured in a secondary axis. So you're going to come here to axis and you're going to select a right. From here, you can click on show data labels and you can add the numbers. You can also change the color of basically the, the bar charts or the line or whatever else you are going to have here in, in this report. You can scroll all the way down and you can remove the grid lines. You can manipulate the legend here in terms of the font and also in terms of the color. And with all these options, you will be able to create a combo chart that will look exactly as per your taste and what you want everything to look like in your report. Maybe you can use the brand colors of your clients or the brand colors of your company, and that will make it a really great experience for people who are going to consume your Looker Studio report. That's it. That's how you can customize the combo chart. If you have any questions or anything that you would like to do and you can't really figure out how exactly to do that, make sure you type this in the comments. I normally read the comments on a weekly basis. And if what you are asking is possible to be done, then I can guide you or maybe I can create another video on how to customize certain elements in Looker Studio. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day in any time zone. Bye, everyone.